I can't remember. The year 2023 is about to say goodbye and leave us. And regardless of whether this year was a good one for you financially or socially, one thing we can't deny about it is that it was full of insane horror games. From January to December, we had at least one incredible horror game every month and a bunch of other good ones to keep us busy. If we talk about all of them, we will probably need to make the video longer than two hours. However, there are certain titles that simply stand out from all the rest due to their creative style, memorable stories, and sometimes because they remind us of great experiences in the past. And what's even better is that this year we had sequels and new installments to games that we literally waited more than a decade for. But on the other side, none of us can deny that we had so many disappointments too. Like Redfall, which I really had high hopes for. And also the Greyhill incident, which felt like a promising alien game when it was revealed. And let's not ignore the scams too. Like the one and only the day before, which only lasted a few days before it got removed from Steam. Anyway, let's not ruin our mood with the negative side, and let's focus on why this year will be remembered as one of the best years for horror, if not the best of all times. Because today, I tried hard to be specific and prepare for you a list of the 20 best and most memorable horror games that we had the chance to play this year, and gave us an experience that simply should be appreciated. The order is from the 20th best to the best of the entire year, but that doesn't necessarily mean that game number 8 is better than game number 15. All these games have their own strong points and advantages. So without further ado, let's start. This is probably one of the most underrated indie horror games this year, because it passed by without much attention. The game tells the story of a German soldier who is very confused and tormented by the memories of war. He is stuck in a weird realm between his family's house and the trenches of the World War. The man here is haunted by endless nightmares from his casual life in the house and also by the trauma of the war that never left his head. The visuals are also very satisfying and suitable for the era of the events, and the hallucinations that the protagonist encounters are at the core of the experience. So when it comes to indie gaming, I believe this one deserves a spot here. weird ball of energy just bring it back to life? This is not the best game you can play or anything, but considering the price, it's definitely a worthy experience that needs to be mentioned. The game is set in 1994 and follows the story of Agent Delilah Reyes, a former government spy who is now working for an entity called the Hades Unit. She then finds herself investigating a series of mysterious events at a remote research facility. But things turn out to be much more sinister than she thought, involving bioweapons, weird creatures, and a shadowy organization with a dangerous agenda. The action elements are really strong, and the third-person perspective makes it feel like a Resident Evil game from the older generations. So overall, it's really a good experience that can be suitable for people who enjoy this category of games. Who the hell are you? And what are you? I'm still not sure what game you're playing. But I'm back. Layers of Fear has held a special place in the hearts of indie horror fans since the original installment in 2016. The painful story of the painter and his wife was very deep, and it really touched us. 
The 2023 installment came out as a mix of the entire series by combining the stories of the original game and the second one along with the DLCs. It uses Unreal Engine 5 to create a much more realistic environment with ray tracing, HDR, and 4K resolution. You will relive the stories of the painter, the actor, and the writer. But this time, everything is intertwined and combined to provide one powerful experience that pays homage to the whole series. Even though some people felt that the final product wasn't as good as they expected, I still believe that it deserves to be included in this list. That's it! <laughs> it's beautiful. Perfect. Just like I always imagined. What? What is this? I, I don't understand. No. Stop it. Meat and bone. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? You are an insect. You are nothing. I create. I iterate. I fuse flesh and steel into perfection. System Shock was a very familiar title to gamers in the 90s. But the remake of this year succeeded in reviving the experience to make it suitable for modern day gamers as well. This is a full fledged remake of the original System Shock with new graphics and gameplay mechanics but retaining the core story and atmosphere of the original game, which is obviously a good thing. Just like in the first story, the deranged digital program Shodan has seized command of Citadel Station, transforming its inhabitants into a formidable army of cyborgs and mutants. You must navigate the treacherous depths of the corrupted space station and engage in battles to thwart Shodan's plans and prevent the impending doom of humanity. The gameplay is really fun and full of surprises, and I don't think adding this game to the list is a mistake. I hear Dive. Dredge is a beautiful game in every sense of the word, and there is no way I would miss it on a list like this, even though we've never talked about it before. In this fascinating world, you play as a fisherman who ventures into a remote archipelago shrouded in mist and mystery. Driven by a thirst for adventure and the promise of rare treasures, you cast your line into the dark depths, unaware of the horrors that lurk beneath. However, when you begin to delve deeper, the breathtaking fishing paradise gives way to a disturbing reality inspired by the works of H.P. Lovecraft. It's really a sophisticated journey full of things to do and explore, as well as hidden stuff that you weren't meant to unravel. This game came out in March and got amazing reviews on Steam that made it one of the most loved titles this year. Hey! Hey, 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 can you, can you talk? Phasmophobia fans have been waiting for a competitor for some time, and Demonologist was actually even better than what they were asking for. As usual, you play as a team of paranormal investigators who must identify and exorcise demons from haunted locations. 
Each demon has unique characteristics and weaknesses, requiring strategic use of your equipment and teamwork to succeed, which is really the main source of fun here. The visuals are absolutely impressive and much better than Phasmophobia, and there are really cool features like voice interactions and the customization of your character that you can do with the money you earn. Whether you're a fan of multiplayer horror games or not, you can't deny that this title is fun and worthy of being included here. This game is not basically horror, but just like Little Nightmares is often included in the genre, I think this one deserves a spot here fair and square. Bramble, the Mountain King tells the story of Ole, a young boy who embarks on a perilous journey to save his sister after she got kidnapped by a monstrous troll known as the Mountain King. Even though the objective sounds simple, the adventure of the boy here is fascinating and full of all kinds of obstacles that you can never expect. The environment looks amazing and the style of the visuals is something that pleases our eye. So it really makes sense that the game received overwhelming positive reviews on Steam. Lamus would always look after his only friend. What'd you do to her? <laughs> <laughs> Sally, we know you're here. You can't hide from us. Still a chance for you to make things right, Sally. I wanted to add this game so badly to the list because it's actually a title that I didn't expect would even be released. It was initially exclusive to Google's gaming platform in 2019, but now it's available on other platforms as well. In this enticing game, you play as a young girl named Sally, searching for her missing cousin Emily in a creepy, unfamiliar world, which honestly is a similar story to Bramble. The line between reality and dreams blurs as Sally navigates this surreal landscape, facing her own fears and confronting the emotional impact of her actions. The gameplay focuses on stealth and puzzle solving to avoid enemies, and you can also use the environment to your advantage, hide in shadows, and use distractions to confuse them. In my humble opinion, it's a fun game that deserves praise, even though it didn't get much attention this year. The Forest blew up the internet when it was released in 2014, and Sons of the Forest succeeded in preserving that legacy and proving that the series has more to offer. In this installment, you play as a survivor stranded on a remote, cannibal-infested island, and you will also encounter messed up creatures that will disturb you to the core. 
Your mission is to find a missing billionaire named Edward Puffton, who went missing along with his wife Barbara and his daughter Virginia. But regardless of this mission, staying alive remains your main priority here, because the survival elements in this game are absolutely insane. When it comes to indie horror games, Amnesia is considered one of the goats, especially when we talk about The Dark Descent. However, Amnesia The Bunker used a different style to add some strategy to the survival elements. Here, a man named Henri wakes up inside a bunker with no memory of how he got there. He is injured and alone, and he can only hear his own breathing and the flickering of a weird old flashlight to guide him. The strong point of this game is that the whole time you will remain waiting for the creature to show up from anywhere. The stress of knowing that he's with you in the bunker is unbearable. So this game is obviously among the best additions to our horror library in 2023. There is no way you can find a horror gamer who is not familiar with Outlast. Some people even consider it to be the best of all time in its category, and others see it as a source of inspiration for many other single-player titles. But apparently, the Outlast trials proved that the franchise can compete fiercely in the multiplayer market too, and it's also a prequel to the first two games. The events here are set in the Cold War era, where players take on the role of test subjects for the Murkoff Corporation, involuntarily recruited to participate in a series of mysterious and terrifying experiments aimed at brainwashing and mind control. Everything in this place is disturbing and full of pain, and obviously the Murkoff Corporation is even more violent than ever. I know that many people might not associate Lies of P with horror, but this type of game is actually included in the dark fantasy category, and this category is technically connected to the horror genre. That's why many gamers consider Bloodborne a horror game as well. Anyway, Lies of P is a very special experience of the year, and it tells the story of P, a Pinocchio-inspired puppet made by the mysterious puppet maker Mr. Geppetto. But unlike in the classic tale, P here can actually lie, and this ability becomes a crucial tool for navigating the dangerous world. You need to know exactly when lying can save you or screw you in multiple ways. The enemies that you encounter here are insane and creative, and you need to know how to deal with each one of them differently. Lies of P was nominated for certain awards in the Game Awards, and I honestly see it as a masterpiece that showed up out of nowhere.
Dead Space is known by many as one of the best survival horror games ever made. But this iconic game got even better in 2023 with the release of an insanely well-made remake that revived our hopes in electronic arts. Just like in the original release, here you'll also find yourself in a desolate mining spaceship overrun by grotesque alien necromorphs. However, the updated textures, lighting and effects, coupled with immersive 3D audio, raise the amount of tension and terror to the next level. So there's no doubt that this remake is among the best releases of horror in 2023, and it may even be in gaming in general. Missing senorita? Ashley, where are you? Your soul requires cleansing. Ashley Graham, are you in here? Just let me go. Listen. I'm here in the president's orders and. What is that? Resident Evil 4 is a unique game in the series because it introduced something new 18 years ago, back in 2005. It introduced the over-the-shoulder camera view, which revolutionized the third-person games forever. But just when we thought the game couldn't be any better, the remake 18 years later tells us that we're wrong and the improvement is undeniable. You will go through the same mission of saving the president's daughter Ashley after she was kidnapped by a weird cult. But this time, the insane visuals and the improved intelligence of the enemies will make your journey even more memorable. This remake achieved one of the biggest sales numbers in 2023. And the reasons are very clear. Since made me write a horror story that came to life. No! It wore the face of an old woman. Behind the mask was pure darkness. The story would make it strong enough to escape the dark place. But there was a weapon to use against the dark presence. A light switch. The clicker. To save Alice, I needed to enter Cauldron Lake. Dive deeper. I need to escape before I lose my mind. I need to write a new story, a hero to help me. The dark presence is out there, haunting me. Okay boys, I kept the best for last. And from the bottom of my heart, I chose this one for the first spot with complete confidence. The amount of nostalgia that people have for the original installment of this game is insane. For years, we were waiting for a sequel, and we got drowned in an ocean of rumors, false reports, and fictional hopes. I remember hearing about Alan Wake 2 in 2014 and 2015, but it felt like a dream that couldn't be achieved. However, that dream came true after 13 years, and Alan Wake 2 is here and it literally looks better than ever. The visuals are breathtaking, and the story is intriguing, mystical, and keeps us interested in how it's going to end. The ability to play with two characters also gives a new perspective on how you can shape the events and predict your fate. Alan here is trying to finish a novel that he forgot he even wrote, 
and if he fails to do so, he will remain stuck in this alternate dimension forever. I don't want to spoil the experience for you, but I can assure you that it's worth it. The only unfortunate aspect is that the game is not yet getting the sales that it deserves, probably because the physical versions are not available yet, and also because the game is exclusive to Epic Games and you can't buy it on Steam. I don't know if things will change in the future, but this game is definitely among the best releases of the entire year, and I can even call it my game of the year. Closer to home, closer than ever before. It's you again, the FBI agent, Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You help me get closer to escaping. Wait. Are we all right? still trapped? We have the clicker. We can. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the dark presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. This is it for today guys, and this is it for the year as well, because this video will probably be the last one where we talk about 2023 games. In the next videos, we will give you an idea of what's coming in 2024 to see if horror fans should expect an amazing year for horror gaming or not. If you believe that I missed a big game that you consider worthy of being included in the list, then make sure to please mention it in the comments. I know that I definitely ignored so many honorable experiences, but I really tried hard to keep the list as fair as possible, even though I wanted to include 20 games at first. I was hoping that I would have the chance to add the Silent Hill 2 remake, but sadly, Konami never fails to ruin our hopes. I will definitely talk about it soon and give you the most recent updates about the development of the game and its fate. There were also many other titles that we were expecting to come out in 2023, but they were postponed to 2024. Anyway, give this video a like and tell me what you think about my choices. Until the next video, enjoy the rest of your day or night, depending on your time zone.